Hello, in this video of the ADLM 2000 series, we'll introduce the digital section of the module. We're going to talk about the digital I.O. instrument and its features. All digital instruments make use of the 16 digital input-output channels. All channels have 3.3 volts CMOS logic levels and a sample rate of 100 mega samples per second. The pins are 1.8 volt compatible and 5 volt tolerant. Plug in the module using the USB connector in the middle, open Scopy and click Connect. In this example, we'll showcase both individual and grouped pin operations. First, we're going to use the voltmeter to monitor the voltage on a digital output pin and then the positive power supply to toggle a digital input pin. Finally, we'll demonstrate the grouped pin operation. Open the digital I.O. instrument by clicking its corresponding button. In the main window, there are the designated toggle buttons for each of the digital channels. This can be set to operate individually or as a group of eight. In individual mode, you can set the channel direction as input or output for each channel separately. Let's configure digital input output 0 as output and digital input output 7 as input. Run the instrument by clicking the Namely button. On the right side of the channel name, there is an indicator of the state read by the M2K on said channel. If the channel is configured as output, you can set its corresponding state, 0 or 1, and the indicator will update accordingly. Set the state of digital input output 0 to 1 and let's verify the voltage level. To do this, we'll connect analog input 1 to digital pin 0. Open the voltmeter from Scopy's instrument list. On channel 1, the voltage display should be in between 2.9 and 3.4 volts. Now let's try to toggle our digital input pin using the positive power supply. For this, we'll connect the positive power supply, V+, to digital pin 7. Open the instrument and set the positive power supply to 0.8 volts and run the instrument. Go back to the digital I.O. instrument and look at the indicator for digital input output 7. As you can see, the state is 0. Set the power supply to 3 volts. If you'll check digital input output 7 again, you'll notice that its state changed to 1. To stop the instruments, you can click the green arrow which you can see on each running instrument from the list on the left. To demonstrate the grouped pins functionality of this instrument, we'll have to connect the digital pins in the following manner. Digital input output 0 to digital input output 8. Digital input output 1 to digital input output 9. Digital input output 2 to digital input output 10. Digital input output 3 to digital input output 11 and so forth and so on until we reach the last pair. In the digital I.O. window, set both rows as groups from their combo boxes. Then, set digital I.O. 0 to 7 as output and digital I.O. 8 to 15 as input. You can set the output value either by dragging the slider or by typing a value in the edit box. Based on the connections we made, any changes to this value should be reflected in the digital I.O. 8 to 15 group, which we configured as input. Set this value to 0, 128, and 255. If you switch the two groups and configure digital input output 8 to 15 as output and the first group as input, you should get the same results. With this, we conclude our introduction to the digital section of the ADLM 2000 and the presentation of the digital I.O. instrument. The following videos will handle the remainder instruments of Scopy and some of the application's more advanced options. We'll also provide an insight into the M2K's trigger features. We'll wrap up the series with an introduction to LibM2K, our full-featured software API, with which you can create your own programs to run on the module. For more resources and information on the ADLM 2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. If you have questions that these videos do not provide an answer to, please feel free to ask us on the Engineers Zone forum in the Virtual Classroom section. You'll find links to all kinds of helpful pages in the video description. Thanks for watching!